Keanu Reeves was relevant in the early 2000s. He stopped being relevant, well, until 2014 when John Wick came out. Here comes the money! Here we go! Money talks! Here comes the money! John Wick. I do not care he's in Fortnite. So John Wick is the movie about a guy named John Wick. He's like a super trained assassin. He's part of this organization called the Continental. But later he leaves it and he goes and lives, he gets a wife, he gets married. And then his wife dies and then this, the, the Russian Mafia comes and kills his dog and steals his car and beats him up. And yeah, now John Wick... And it's going to kill everybody. I'm going to address this fact real quickly. The biggest problem... Let me take that down. Ah, the biggest problem with this channel is that R-rated movies I don't review. A couple times I will review them. I will review Logan in a couple weeks. The week after next... No, the week... After the week after next week. So a little while. But I don't ever review R-rated movies. There are occasions where I will. I will eventually review The Matrix. Maybe before John Wick 3. I'm not sure. Um, sometimes I'll review movies like, I'm going to review Blade Runner 2049, and I feel like it, but the point is, is that usually I don't review R-rated movies, because I physically can't see them, I'm not old enough, and I have very busy parents, so I can't just ask them to go see a movie with me. That is what I am doing with John Wick 3, so there will be a review for that on Sunday, because end of the year, so really busy things happening, but I'll get a review for John Wick 3 on Sunday, but the point is, is that... There are some R-rated movies I can't see, but John Wick, weirdly, a movie that's considered super violent and super R-rated, is one I've actually seen. The main reason for that is because it's freaking awesome. I'm going to admit the trailer for this movie isn't great. It's kind of just stupid to me. Like, it's not like, it, like, when you watch the trailer, you think, am I really going to feel, am I going to feel bad for these bad guys? Like, they didn't do anything. I mean, I guess they killed his dog, which is terrible, but... Does he really mean to murder all of them? And all my friends are like, he's overreacting. But none of my friends have actually seen this freaking amazing movie. But the point is, is that once you see that trailer, you think, all right, maybe, maybe. And you see the movie and you're like, holy crap, that was awesome. That did everything right. This movie is great. And that's just, that's because of a lot of reasons. But why John Wick is one of my favorite action movies, possibly. I don't know if it's up in my top, it's definitely not my top 10, but it's a great, one of the best in the top the 2010s. The thing about John Wick that's so good is the fact that the movie is so simple. Like, it's very simple. The plot is really straightforward. It made sense to me. I understood what was going on. Another thing I absolutely adore about this movie is, of course, the action. There are a lot of scenes in this movie where like, ooh, yikes, or ooh, ow. Like, that looked like it hurt. When, like, when John Wick falls, he's in the club scene, he falls, he smashes his back on the ground, you're like, ooh, yikes. Like, there are a lot of that type in this movie. And the action. Oh man, the action. This is some of the best action I've seen this decade. It is a freaking phenomenal. It makes this movie a fantastic movie. Some of the action in this movie is downright amazing. I really, really, like, I adore the action in this movie. I, I think there's some tactic Keanu Reeves uses called Gun Fu, which I don't know anything about that, but the point is, is that the action in this movie it's freaking amazing. It's it's the best aspect of this movie. Another thing I will say is that Keanu Reeves, I love him as an action star. I don't like him as an actor that much. Replicas really kind of showed that he's not very he's not very good at drama acting. But when he's in an action movie, like when he's playing the main character in a stupid action movie, like The Matrix, anybody can argue with me. The Matrix is stupid AF. I, that doesn't mean I dislike that movie. I quite like that movie. But... It is, it's not smart. It is stupid. Um, and John Wick's not, I guess, the smartest movie ever, but I'd say it's smarter than The Matrix. But Keanu Reeves is really good at delivering the dumbest lines ever. Some pretty dumb lines. You know the ones I'm talking about. But he has this tendency to deliver them and make them sound good. They're only bad when you think about it. Sometimes you hear a line in a movie and you're like, ooh, that was pretty cringy. But sometimes... You hear a line in the movie and you think, you, it's only when you think about it that you think it's cringy. And Keanu Reeves delivers those lines, when they're cringy at least. Sometimes they're not cringy, but a lot of the time they are. He seems totally believable in this movie. John Wick's motivation in this movie makes total sense. 
I totally see where he's coming from, where he's like, so the, these guys killed my dog, which was like my dying gift for my wife, and these guys are complete jerks in the movie, so you really want John Wick to win. And when when um, everybody finds out, everybody who knew John Wick finds out that, 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 that this happened to John Wick, they're like, uh-oh, you're dead, dude. You, you can't fight John Wick. And I love that aspect of the movie. It's hilarious, because there's this scene in the movie when it's like, I see, like, you like, someone's calling it. It's like, I see you punching my son. He's like, yeah, do you know why? Because he stole John Wick's car and killed his dog. And then he just goes, oh, I just, I just love that scene. That scene was hilarious to me. I love that part of the movie. I think John Wick's motivation is totally real. You totally get where he's coming from. Even though if this happened to me, I wouldn't kill a bunch of people. He's John Wick, and he's, like, the most efficient, precise hitman there is. So I can't be really all that mad at him. I could watch this movie 10, 20 times. It is so entertaining. In regards to issues, I do have to say that there's a certain sequence in this movie that's supposed to be really intense and is playing this rock music over it. I don't know why that was the choice made, but it's there and it's not all that... I don't really like it all that much. And one thing I will say is that the climax of the movie is not the third act. The third act, while it is pretty cool, and it is like, ooh, yeah, you dead, you dead. Like, it is cool, but it's, like, not nearly as cool as some of the, like, the uh, house scene, whatever. I don't even know what to call it. Shit. I don't know. The, but the club scene is considered one of the best action scenes of the 2010s, and I agree. This movie is great. Because overall, John Wick completely is just an awesome, great action movie. It has excitement, fun, just everything. It has the whole package that I want in an action movie. I'm entertained every time I watch this movie. I completely just, I just find this movie awesome. It's fun, exhilarating, the action is amazing and phenomenal. And I could watch, it. it's, it's a guy's movie, you know. Girls probably won't like it as much as guys. I'm not saying every girl won't like it as much as every guy. Don't, don't, don't get mad at me. But what, what my point is, is that if we were to look at the ratio of how many people really like this movie, it's probably more guys than girls. Just saying. But in the obvious run, I'm going to give John Wick a 9. There are two more of these movies, or one isn't out quite yet, and then there's another one, which I'm going to talk about very soon. So yeah, what do you guys think on John Wick? Let me know in the comment section. I know a lot of people probably are like, wait, wait, I haven't seen that movie because I'm, I'm kind of with you where I can't see our movies, but, but if you guys actually can't see our movies and you haven't seen John Wick, you're wasting your time. See you guys later. Bye.